Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy. Today we're making over this chest of drawers that I got from the thrift store for only about $25. The second that I saw all those details, I knew it would be the perfect candidate to use the new Terra Clay Paint by Dixie Bell. Clay paint is perfect for layering and details love to be layered. So let's flip it. I remove all the hardware, I take out the drawers, and I thoroughly clean my piece using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. If you watch my videos, you know that I am big on priming. I think most pieces need to be primed. If I was doing just regular chalk paint, I would totally prime this with an adhesion primer. If you're not familiar with primers, I'll leave a video on which primer to use in the description box but this is a perfect candidate for slick stick or some kind of adhesive primer. Um, because we're using clay paint and we're gonna be layering and layering and layering, we're not gonna prime it. I just don't think it needs it. This clay paint is supposed to be super awesome. So let's give it a try. It's my first time using it. Um, I'm very curious to see how it performs. And for, my brushes, I'm gonna use both my synthetics and my natural bristle brushes because I don't have a lot of natural bristle brushes. And another thing I wanna do is grab my water mister. So I'm going in without a plan. I'm not really sure which colors I wanna use. So I'm just using all of them, testing out the paint, seeing how it works. I think that's a really good thing to do when you're using a paint for the first time. Um, and it's like I always say, it's just paint. So, you know, you can always paint over it. So the yellow was not working for me. This is working for me, but I don't want to do it like this. <laughs> so just messing around with the paint and messing around with a few colors, I got some really good ideas. And I love this London blue on top of this elderberry. I don't like the yellow in there. I do like some of the pinks. Um, and then we're gonna add another color, but I'll show you later as we go along. So we're going to take my elderberry and I'm just going to do a whole entire coat of elderberry on the entire piece to cover up all of the yellow. I started out using my chip brush to apply the paint, but I went and grabbed my water mister and my synthetic Dixie Belle mini brush, and the paint went on so smooth. It went on much nicer. I'm gonna use my water mister just to make sure I can get in all those little cracks because I want this elderberry to be in all the cracks. And because, you know, I've already put a couple layers of paint down, I will probably add two coats of this elderberry because that's the one I want underneath. So my next step is I'm going to add Galaxy to all of the little creases in here. Galaxy is this gorgeous, super dark blue. And for that, I'm going to use my French tip brush because I really want to get it in there like that. And I'm not really worried about um, you know, it being messy or anything, because we're gonna add another layer over that. So I'm gonna go around the entire front of the dresser and just add it to this crease. Okay, and then the next thing I wanna do is add London Blue. London blue is so pretty. 
It's a little bit lighter than Galaxy. And I'm just really gonna focus on dry brushing all around. We wanna leave some of the um, purple there, but I, I just wanna highlight the raised details here. And it's this gorgeous combination of purple and teal. And I will go on the insides here, but you can see still that we've left that purple to poke through. And everything I'm showing you, exactly how I do on this one drawer, I continue down all the other drawers. And this last color we're using is called Cerulean Blue. We're going to highlight, again, with just the chip brush, really, really lightly over the detailed areas. So all in all, we have four layers. Our first layer is elderberry, then we have galaxy, then we have London blue, and then cerulean blue. And for the sides and the top, I used elderberry and then mostly the London blue over it. I wanted to just keep the sides and the top darker. I didn't use any of the other blues. I kept it very simple, but it's still going to look fabulous. A little bit of the purple is showing through, but not too much.
Now to seal this piece, I'm using Dixie Belle's clear coat in flat. It will deepen the color. Um, I love to use a clear coat instead of wax, but they are coming out with a wax that is special for this. It's not water-based. I just, I don't have that. Otherwise, I probably would have gave that a try. But for now, I'm gonna just use the clear coat because I love the clear coat and I always feel very good about it, um, about how it seals. It seals really nice. And I waited 24 hours until I applied my clear coat on this one because I didn't want, because the clear coat is water-based and the clay is water-based, I just didn't want it to reactivate. And it didn't, I had no problems. And with all of these details, a flat finish is pretty ideal because you won't really get any streaking. And I applied two coats in total. So here's a reminder of our piece before, and here's what it looks like today. I kept the same hardware. I just cleaned it up really nice, and the gold matches all these beautiful blues really well, so it worked out really good. I really enjoyed working with the Terra Clay paint. It was my first time ever using it, and I just played and had fun. And like I said at the beginning, this paint is meant to be played with. So you can do layers, you can create those eclectic boho looks, really easy. Um, I'll be using it again for sure because I enjoyed it very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this.